Therefore, find the range of values of B if the following equations have no real roots. So if no real roots, that means B square minus 4AC is smaller than 0. So B square minus 4AC, if it is larger than 0, that means 2 different real roots. If B square minus 4AC is equal to 0, that means 2 equal real root. And if B square minus 4AC is smaller than 0, that means no real root. So the one that satisfies this condition is this one, which is B square minus 4AC is smaller than 0, this one. What we have to do is that we have to find what is our a x square plus b x plus c, so that we can find what is our a, b, and c, and substitute it inside the equation. A, one minus b x square plus five is equal to two x. So this one you see, this one is in front of x square. So actually, we don't have to expand it. Okay, we bring everything to the other side. So here we have 1 minus b x square. 2x will become negative 2x. And here we have 5 is equal to 0. So our a here is what is in front of x square, which is 1 minus b. And in front of x, b is equal to negative 2. And c is equal to 5. b square minus 4 a c is smaller than 0. So, in this case, b square minus 4ac smaller than 0. b is negative 2 square minus 4. a is 1 minus b. And c is equal to 5 smaller than 0. So, negative 2 square is 4. And here we have negative 4. 1 times 5 is 5. Negative p times 5 is minus 5p smaller than 0. So, 4 minus... 4 times negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Negative 4 times negative 5p, you get positive 20p smaller than 0. So what we, what we want to have here is p. So 20p, 4 minus, 4 minus 20 is negative 16, right? Negative 16 moving to the other side. Never mind, just write it. So here is negative 16 plus 20p smaller than 0. 20p is smaller than, so negative 16 is moving to the other side to become positive 16. p is smaller than 16 divided by 20. You are moving 20 to the other side. You see this one, both can be divided with 4. So divide with 4, get 4. Divide with 4, you get 5. So p is smaller than 4 over 5. This b for b x square plus 4 b plus 1 x plus b minus 1 is equal to 0. So you see here a x square plus b x plus c. What is in front of x square is a. So in front of x square is 4 p. a is equal to 4 p. What is in front of x is b. In front of x is equal to 4 p plus 1 and then what is without x is c so this one is p minus 1 c is equal to p minus 1 b square minus 4 ac is smaller than 0 so b is 4 p plus 1 square minus 4 a is 4 p c is p minus 1 is smaller than 0 so 4 p is 4 p square, 4 square, 16 p square is p square. So this one is, you see here you can do it manually. Either you expand or you can just use formula. Which is a plus b square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So first you are squaring this one. And then you multiply 2 times b times a. You get the middle one. And then you square the back one, you get b square. So first, I square this one, 4p, okay, and then 2 times 1 times 4p, we get 8p, 1 square, we get 1, okay. So this one here, 
negative 4 so here you can either directly multiply everything or if you want to make it like less mistake also can you can just multiply it one by one so here negative 4 times 4 p get negative 16 p right so this one is p minus 1 and here you can do anything 16 p square plus 8 p plus 1 negative 16 p times p get negative 16 p square negative 16 p times negative 1 you get positive 16 p smaller than 0 you can cancel out p square negative 16 and positive 16 so here 8p plus 16p you get 24p plus 1 smaller than 0 what we wanted to have is p so 24p is smaller than 1 we move become negative 1 so p is smaller than negative 1 divided by 24 